My name is Robin Rogers, Canada Excellence Research Chair in Green Chemistry and Green Chemicals at McGill University. I'm also the American Chemical Society's founding editor-in-chief for the journal Crystal Growth and Design. I'd like to introduce you to the CERC laboratories here in the Department of Chemistry at McGill. I'm standing behind the Chem Auto Mass Chemistry Building, which as you can see is below the skyline of Montreal. And I'm also standing in front of our new laboratories in the Pulp and Paper Research Institute, which are being uh, constructed for our Discovery Center. Let me take you inside and show you some of the labs that are already done. Welcome to the first of our laboratories to be finished here. I'm going to show you a bit of the equipment and the, the people, staff, and personnel working here. A lot of this is going to go into the building I just showed you outside in the old pulp and paper research building. We have in this laboratory materials preparation and characterization, and you can see our fiber extruder at the end of the laboratory. We also have our synthesis and characterization in this, in this part. On this side, you can see our work with hypergolic ionic liquids and the development of new materials uh, for those and hopefully you see a lot of people who are working really hard to be sustainable. Welcome to our instrumentation laboratory. Now as you might expect from the editor of Crystal Growth and Design, we have our workhorse instruments including state-of-the-art single crystal x-ray diffraction and powder x-ray diffraction that takes a lot of our, our effort in materials characterization. We also have been able to become equipped with uh, Carl Fisher titration, with thermogravimetric techniques, with chromatography and electrochemistry, essentially everything that we need to fully characterize not only the solid state, but also the liquid state. 